Hi, welcome back. I'm Jane, I love to garden. We're finally gonna finish those last couple pots. This is no transplant winter sowing. I got my son, Ethan, to help me fill them all with the rest of the potting soil that I had. And now we're gonna go grab some seeds. We're in February. We swing you around and you can see my gorgeous mountains that I love so much. And it's so bright, so I don't know what I'm looking at. There we go. I'm in Utah, zone six, up against these gorgeous Wasatch Mountains. I love where I live. It makes me very happy. It is February. What seeds am I going to plant? A lot of people don't think you can plant outside right now. But did you know you can? Let me show you this. It's really quite fun. We're going to swing around again. These pots are filled with last year's soil and then it's settled because I always do lasagna gardening or layering gardening. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see how I filled these. I fill them with any bedding from the rabbit barn or the chicken barn. I fill it all the way up as high as I can. And then the last six inches to a foot, I put potting soil from the store. And that's what we just did with my son, Ethan. He came and helped me. And now we're gonna go get some seeds. Does it have to be just typical things that you would plant in early spring? Nope. If you've seen the other videos, I plant nigella. That's a really cold loving annual. I plant snapdragons, those are cold loving. I put marigolds and zinnias and cosmos. Those are all warm loving. What's gonna happen? I'm going to plant the seeds and then I'm going to cover it with plastic. And then I'm gonna make sure it has holes in it so the moisture can get in. And these seeds are gonna come up when they are ready. So I'm gonna get a show of the first things. The cold, hardy annuals are gonna come up first. And then the warm, and then the zinnias and cosmos and marigolds will come up second. So let's go get some seeds and let's plant these finely and get some plastic on them. It's taken me three days to get this project done. I'm inside where it's nice and warm. It's getting pretty cold out there. I wanna get these last pots done. So here are the seeds I'm gonna put in there. So let's see a yellow, lots of zinnias. I'm gonna do lots of zinnias. Banneries, um, green giant, daydream cosmos. Here's an amaranth, green amaranth. More celosia, some straw flower, gumfrina. More gumfrina. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these seeds and I'm going to spread them all out in this container so that when I get outside, I'm not having to deal with opening all these little packets with freezing cold hands, but I can just grab a pinch of the seeds and sprinkle them into the pots. So here I go. Okay, I've opened up all those packs. I've got Gumfrina, Celosia, Strawflower, uh, Marigold, Zinnias, Cosmos. Let's see anything else in there. Nigella. So now I'm ready to take the cold. Let's go put these in those pots. All right, I'm going to put all these seeds in the pots behind me. My son's playing basketball back there. This pot has a lot of Gumfrina in it. And hopefully... It's not a thug. So let's put some celosia in there. Last year, these pots were very underwhelming to me because I just had some micro tomatoes in them. And I love micro tomatoes, but it just wasn't that fancy. So this year I'm hoping that these really do amazing and give me amazing flowers and a gorgeous show. All right, I'm gonna water these in. I think I'm gonna go get some more for that last. 
So this is how I'm kind of planting them. Just kind of pushing them down and moving them around. All right, well, I'm gonna go get some water and water these in. And then it's, it's plastic time. Okay, they're all planted up. Now I need to water them. I got some plastic left over from when I got a mattress for my bed. Twine and scissors. Let's go put plastic on those pots. There's one. Now I just need to get the twine around it and put holes in it. Three more to go. I'm gonna water these pots in real good before I tie the twine down. I live in a desert, I need more water. If you're not getting any moisture, you need to hand water. This is the very first time, so I'm going to put a lot more water in for the very first time. We're gonna tie it down really good with twine. Make sure it's nice and taut and tight. And then you're gonna put the holes in it. Let me tie down two more. Now put the holes in it. Use whatever you have. Don't make it complicated. You got a knife, a pair of scissors. Use whatever you have. I finally finished the project. I got it all done. I am so excited to see what these are going to be like in the spring and the summer. And if they're overcrowded, like I think they might be, it might just be really cool. Or I can take some of those seedlings out and put them around the yard. So keep following along. I'll see you later. Bye.